Sharma from Lexis and Company working as an intern. Today I'll be talking about check bounce procedure. The first being the check bounce notice. The notice is a notice that can be given by the unpaid creditor, which is the pay to the defaulting debtor who is the drawer through an advocate in the dishonor of check according to Section 138 of NI Act. The notice is issued for 15 days within which if the amount is not paid, the payee has the right to file legal complaint and initiate the legal proceedings. Now parties to the check. Drawer is the person who issues the check that is author of the check. Payee is the person to whom the amount mentioned is payable. Joy is the bank where the drawer has an account from which the check amount shall be paid and pays bank is the bank where the payee has an account. Now what is meant by check bounce or dishonored check? It is based on the following events. A drawer is liable to pay some amount to the pay and thus draws a check in the name of the pay. The pay or the holder of the check then deposits the check in the bank where he holds the account. The check is deposited on or after the specified date but not later than 30 days from the date mentioned on the check as it becomes invalid. After depositing the check in the account, if the drawer finds it impossible to pay off the amount specified, it is sent as check return memo to the payee's bank and payee's banker then forwards a check return memo to the payee informing that him that the check is dishonored. Now how do we come to know that the check is bounced? If the Droy bank finds out that it is not possible to pay off the check amount to the payee due to the reason then check bounced reasons. According to 138 of NI Act, resubmission it is given because of insufficient balance. Resubmission of the dishonored check. If the pay or the person holding the check believes that the check once dishonored will be dishonored second times, he can resubmit it within three months of the date specified.